week's vlog and I'm just doing this really really quickly this intro but today me and Danny are going up to Kirstie's where it's the arena where I practice my dressage test with Lydia. I'm going up there because Kirstie owns the sand school and I hack out with her a couple times a week and the plan was to take Danny's showing the end of this month the 29th of May and I entered for the competition and everything and Kirsty is an absolute pro at showing she's so good at it she's done it for years and years and years so she really does know what she's doing and honestly the success that she's had she's amazing at her dressage as well but also her working hunter she is just amazing so I thought as Kirsty's just up the road from me and she's an absolute pro at showing I was speaking to her about doing a lot of showing with Dan this summer because I do actually quite enjoy it and she said that she would help me and um, put a show together and just help me and things so we decided to do it tonight ready for the 29th of May and today I looked on the Facebook and the show is cancelled which is so annoying but the good thing is, is there's another show coming up the beginning of June I'm pretty sure it is so I thought I'd still go today because we need to practice and everything because I do show Danny in double reins because that is the correct thing to do for his breeding obviously I could just ride him in normal reins but it is correct for his breeding um, I did do a show vlog September, that's the last time that he wore his double reins, so he might not be in a nice outline like he was then, um, but because obviously he hasn't had it for so long and things, it might take a couple of practices to get him back into the zone like he was last summer, or he might be ace and just do it. But I'm meeting Kirsty up there because she's going to ride Greta, her pony, and she's going to help me put... A show together instead of the show that I normally do um, and she's gonna ride Greta through it with me as well which is gonna be so cool so I need to get my hat on and everything because she is actually waiting for me and my mum's gonna come up and film me and Danny
said that they're getting competitive. Oh my gosh, so They do look really, really nice. Really nice. We've just got to practice those shark teeth. <laughs> it's on the wrong leg. Practice truck and pick 
up the right leg. That's it. That's a really nice shape. This is the next day from yesterday and I'm just taking Dan out for a quiet hack because it is very very warm today um, so I'm just taking him just around the block and I probably won't do that much trotting to be honest just a stroll because yesterday Danny as you guys will have already seen he worked so 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 hard and like I said at the beginning of the vlog his double reins have been on for I worked out it was eight months so that's quite a very long time not quite that's a very long time and he's not used to using those muscles you know so um i understand that his muscles are probably aching today so i just thought if i go out for a nice just stroll he can stretch his legs and everything i mean he has been out in the field all night last night and all today and things but i just thought let's just give him a proper stretch out i might go for a little trot but it's so warm i'm just planning on just walking the whole block which will take me a bit longer the normal when I trot um but Danny was so good yesterday honestly it got a little bit getting used to because obviously he hasn't done it for a long time and things and to be honest with you guys I completely forgot how to hold my double reins it was just so weird like I was like how do I hold them again and I was like to Kirsty I've completely forgotten Dan's gonna just scratch his leg um not his leg his belly I should say but yeah, he just worked so, so, so hard. And once I like got him going, cause he was so docile as well. Like honestly guys, his stomach has blown up so much with him being out. The grass has grown so fast. It's proper greened up. And yeah, his belly is just poof, so fat. And it was so hard. I couldn't even get him into canter. No, that's not like him. Um, but once I actually got him moving, I got more of an active trot and everything. He was so much better and he was just going so nicely. Um, I went through some shows that Kirsty showed me because I do, I have done showing last year with Dan, but literally I think it was only about two shows I've done. And this year I'd like to do a lot more because I do actually quite enjoy it, I'm not going to lie. Um, and I think Dan is going to do really well in the showing world. Obviously, I'm still going to continue with my show jumping and do my dressage. And I do want to get out to some hunter trials um, some point this year. So we'll be continuing on everything that I've been doing and things. But I'll just be adding in the showing as well. Um, and I mean, I'm only doing local, low-key shows. Don't worry, guys, we're not going in to the deep end. But I think he will do quite well. And Kirsty said that she thinks he will as well um, because Kirsty is the ultimate pro at showing, but not just showing dressage, like I said earlier on in the vlog. Um, and I was put, well, you'll have already seen, a snippet of Kirsty and Greta going round. It's just amazing to watch, but I've never actually seen them in the real do it. I've only seen like videos and things, and it was just so nice to see them go round with it. It was just absolutely amazing to watch. And Kirsty gave Danny a little bit of a smarten up because for a few months now, around last year, I kept saying to my mum that I would really like to. Um, pull well not literally pull him but do the pull effect of his tail and i've been saying it for ages and i'm like no and my mum said it's a lot of maintenance to keep up with and um, but not only that i can't do it myself so we'd have to keep getting people to do it for us and they would find it a pain and it's a pain for us and everything so we decided to just leave the tail as much as i want it done um and as you guys know danny's mane is honestly so thick it's ridiculously thick so after we done our riding session kirsty actually brought up the mane thinner and was like do you want to do it and i was like kirsty i have no idea how to do it and i'm so worried about messing it up so as well kirsty very kindly said i'll do it for you um so she thinned it and god it looks so much better guys and then she said what are you going to do about his tail because as you guys know i can't plait a tail whatsoever and um 
well, if the show's coming up, I was like to Kirsty, do I need to plait his tail or is it alright if I leave it? And she was like, oh, to be honest, nowadays people don't really plait their tail. She said when she goes to shows, she never sees horses' tails plaited, and even like at events and dressage and things like that. She said, so I wouldn't worry about it. She said, how do you feel about pulling his tail? And I was like, do you know what? I've been on about that for so long, but it's just so much to keep up, keep up on when I can't do it myself. And it's a lot to ask other people. And she said, well, it's completely up to you. Um, I'm completely happy to do it and I was like oh my god that would be amazing um, and I was like but obviously I don't want to just go down the showing side I do want to do lots of other things obviously Danny is an all-rounder um, you know will it look alright for the other stuff that I want to do and she and that's when she said to be honest most of the horses nowadays tails are pulled she said if Danny was hers she would do it um, and even if she was still doing other stuff that I want to do and I was like right I'm gonna go for it so Kirsty very kindly done it for me and I am so pleased I've done it now guys honestly I took a photo which I did actually put on my Instagram story which you guys might have already seen I took a photo of before and after and god I'm so pleased I've done it she said that she could have took more off but she said for the first time just leave it and maybe the next time we'll take a bit more off but I'm so happy with it and he's just looked so much smarter with his tail like that I was just checking that there was no car behind um so yeah, so Dan's had a little bit of a smarten up. Now I don't have to worry about doing the plaiting or anything. Um, and that's basically it really, guys. And like I said at the beginning, that I was meant to go to a show on the 29th, but then it got cancelled and things. Kirsty said that there is still, there's two shows on on the 29th. A bit further away, because the venue that we was going to was about an hour away. This is going to be quite a bit further, but she said it's really good. And it's it's still local. It's a pony club show, um, and there's a riding club show as well. And they're not too far apart. So we said that we'll take, we're going to go to that. And we offered um, that we would take Kirsty as well, because if we're going anyway. Um, so I'm not sure if Kirsty's definitely going to come with us or not. She's going to let us know nearer the time but me and danny are going to be doing the showing class i'm not sure which one i'm going to go to um, i'm going to see which one's got the best classes but i'm only literally going to go and do two classes um and the classes that i'm going to go down is the hunter type um so i'm not really going to do the ridden hunter um or working hunter it's kind of like um show hunter type and things like that because that's what i was actually entered down to for the 29th um so that's what i'm going to be doing because danny could go and mountain the moorland but because i've done his tail now and i do his mane and everything and i clip his legs he's not really he is the type to do it obviously he's the right breed and everything but now i've like trimmed his mane and smartened him up he's not really the type for mountain morning now if that makes sense um and I don't really want to do mountain mauling anyway. I want to do the hunter type classes because I think personally he'll do quite well in them. Um, but we'll just see. It's just, it's kind of new to us guys, the showing. So we'll just have a play around really and see how we get on at the end of the month, which is actually Danny's birthday the day we go. Um, but sorry guys, this is such a long outro, but I'm so happy with him. He worked so well super pleased i'm really grateful for kirsty to come up with me in her school and go through the um shows with me um and obviously do danny's mane and tail and everything and also for kirsty letting me use her sand school as well um because it's so easy it's actually a 10 minute ride but anyway guys i hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog please make sure that you like and subscribe if you haven't already i'm going to take this boy out for a little stroll um and tomorrow we are off out in the trailer um and next week we are going to be back out jumping because i know it's been a quite a few weeks from jumping and it's no reason for danny or anything like that it's just i've been so busy doing like fun rides and doing other things and i've had a few lessons and that um on the flat work side and i've done my dressage competitions and that it's just too much to do so we decided that we'll just have a quite a few weeks of jumping because Danny has been going so well with his jump in the last few months. Um, there's just no point keep jumping him and then making him sour. So we decided to just give him a few weeks off because it's been going so well and I've been doing other stuff. I just can't do it all. 
so the jumping will be coming out guys don't worry i'm not going down the showing side or just doing the fun rides there will be more stuff coming out very soon hopefully in the next month or two but like i said please make sure that you like and subscribe and i'll see you all next time bye